of our program is becoming Sekine. We are very lucky to have Maria Raleigh, uh, who's the coordinator of Mission Free Iran, one of the organizations responsible for free campaign to save Sakina Ashtiani, along with the international committees against execution, stoning, and Iran solidarity. Maria? Thank you very much. Um, when the children of Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani reached out to the world to plea for help to save their mother's life, they had nearly lost hope of ever being held by their mother again, of ever being able to kiss her cheek. But the world heard their cries, and the world responded to the savage injustices perpetrated against their mother, Sakine. Although the Islamic Republic, for nearly 32 years, has executed, raped, and tortured people in Iran, with hardly a word of protest from the outside world, the era of silence has ended. Because of Sakine, because of the courage of her children, because of the uprising from 2009 post-election protests, the world now knows what the Islamic Republic is really all about. The world now knows the kind of brutality and savagery that the Islamic Republic really stands for. And the kind of brutality that people in Iran have been suffering under for the past nearly 32 years. The world responded to the, the pleas of Sakina's children. And we, the world, Iranian and non-Iranian, must continue to respond. Because Sakina is one, but there are thousands more facing situations just like hers. Facing such, uh, savagery and brutality of, of the same kind. Uh, uh, her 22-year-old son, Sajjad, he's only 22. Every time, from the minute he wrote that first letter with his sister, Saideh, and sent that letter out to the world, they risked their lives to stand in defense of their mother. But the time has come, enough is enough, and they decided they had to stand up in defense of their mother, no matter what. He has shown the world incredible courage and bravery. The least that we can do is to continue to stand with him, with his family, and with all of the families and all of the political prisoners, including all of the lawyers that defend those political prisoners and defend human rights cases like Sakine. The world has to stand together with them in solidarity. We have to continue, all of us, Iranian, non-Iranian, regardless of your political orientation, regardless of the language that you speak or the country that you come from. Justice is universal. Freedom and equality are universal. They're not East or West, and we all have an interest in making sure that the human rights of people in Iran are upheld. So people around the world, together, all of us must demand that this Islamic regime recognizing that it is a criminal regime and not the representative of people in Iran. We must demand that governments and the United Nations refuse to recognize the Islamic regime as a legitimate government. A regime that tortures, rapes, executes, and stones people to death is not a legitimate government. And we hope the United Nations is listening because we will be back here until the day that you get the message. It is a criminal regime. It is a murderer of Iranian people. The only international stage that the Islamic regime should be standing on is one in front of an international criminal tribunal. Yeah. We demand immediate and unconditional freedom for Sakine Ashtiani. We demand immediate and unconditional freedom for all of those in prison under a sentence of adultery or homosexuality. We demand immediate and unconditional freedom for all political prisoners in Iran. Thank you. Yeah.